Bloomington leaders are facing a complicated question. It's not new, but as part of the 2040 Comprehensive Plan. It will work as a master plan for city officials when making decisions about Bloomington's future. The plan is under development and officials are trying to figure out how to accommodate a growing population and still maintain the things that make Bloomington a good place to live. J.D. Gray reports in the final story in our series on downtowns across the state. If you've lived in Bloomington very long, you probably have some memories downtown. You know, I just, I like it all pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we come down at least once a week, at least, and play around just to get out and ride the bus. And you know, you're walking along the V-Line Trail, you run into a neighbor, you say hi. Those memories, they're a part of downtown's appeal. Coppock would know she's led Downtown Bloomington, Inc. for 30 years. The nonprofit organization's goal is to revitalize downtown, or rather, maintain its importance. They connect people, get them to partner on projects, and give them a voice in downtown issues. You know, I mean, we used to just, like, hear a coin drop in the downtown in the afternoon. There would be nobody walking around. And that seems really odd to think about right now. There were about 6,500 people working downtown and 1,500 residents when Coppock started. Now? We have 13,000 employees in the downtown now. We have 8,000 residents, um, which is a dramatic increase um, from what we used to have. The employees double. The residents, that's an increase of more than 500%. And from a draft of the master plan, the number of residential units downtown approximately doubled from 1,800 to 3,700 between the years 2000 and 2016. With an increase in density comes challenging decisions about the downtown's appearance. That's where the planning commission comes in. You have two um, ends of the scale, right? I mean, you have uh, the very adamant preservationists that really want things to stay the same, regardless if they have historic or structural integrity, right? I mean, this is part of the fabric of Bloomington. And then you have people who say, hey, I, I like moving and shaking. I want to transform this place and keep some of that old, but still put some new. And neither one is right or wrong, right? They both are correct. It's hard for staff and plan commission to find that balance, and that's what we do um, on meeting nights. The Plan Commission approved more housing downtown last week. Site plans for a two-unit townhome with nine bedrooms were approved for this area. Multi-use apartment buildings with retail or restaurant space are popping up throughout downtown as well. Coppock says the new residents and visitors downtown support businesses and amenities. And, you know, sometimes people feel like, oh, maybe we're losing some charm and character, but you know, if you go back 30 years, half of downtown was vacant parking lots. Charm and character are important to the city. In the current draft of the master plan, there is a chapter dedicated to downtown. It says, It is important that Bloomington continues to support a diverse and robust downtown that is not purely student-centric businesses, nor predominantly multifamily student housing. Bloomington's downtown has a rich sense of place that is key to the continued success of the city and Indiana University alike. Langley says one way to achieve this is by thinking about how people see buildings when they walk by them. She says things like details and awnings can make a big difference. It's that psychological element and that is what I feel like is going to be that marriage between the old and the new. We just have to figure out how to capture it. <laughs> And so, in 2040, what will downtown look like? I think um, you're going to say, I remember this place, but it's different from what I remember. Um, some people are excited about that. Some people are not excited about that. For Indiana News Desk, I'm J.D. Gray. You can find the current draft on the city's website.